Countries in the EU have been granting citizenship to foreign nationals in record numbers in 2021. In this video, we discuss which EU member has issued the most citizenships and the origins of the beneficiaries. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. The latest data shows that EU countries granted a record number of citizenships in 2021. A total of 827,300 people obtained citizenship in EU member states in 2021, which is an increase of 98,300 in 2020. Around the EU countries, the administrative process of getting citizenship takes an average of two years, so most of the people getting their citizenship in 2021 would have applied for it in previous years. The 14% leap can be partly attributed to a pandemic-era backlog, but also reflects an upward trend in 2019, when 706,400 new citizenships were granted. 85% of new citizens were not previously citizens of another EU country. Spain granted the highest number of new citizenships in 2021, welcoming 144,800 new residents followed closely by France and Germany, with 130,000 new citizens each, Italy with 121,500, and Sweden with 89,400. It can be a lengthy procedure to become a citizen, but it's not equally difficult across the block. The more traditional route to obtain citizenship is naturalization, where legal residents living and working in the country for a number of years can apply for. For those who have funds, several EU countries offer citizenship by investment, where individuals can purchase property or invest a certain amount to gain residency rights before applying for citizenship a few years later. Similar to the previous year, the vast majority of people who obtained citizenship of an EU member state were from non-EU countries, 706,900, or 85% of the total. The largest group was from Morocco, where 86,200 people, who acquired citizenship mostly in Spain or France, followed by Syrians in Sweden and the Netherlands, and Albanians mostly in Italy. Then came Romanians who mostly settled in Italy and Germany, and Turks in Germany and France. Among new EU citizens, there were also 5,370 US nationals, with the largest number in Austria, Norway, France, Sweden, and Italy. The Brexit vote in 2016 resulted in a surge in citizenship applications among British nationals who lived in the EU as they faced the prospect of losing their freedom of movement in the bloc. The peak for citizenship granted to British nationals was in 2019, and since then numbers have seen a decrease. Some 10,600 British nationals acquired citizenship in EU countries in 2021, ranking 19th among other nationalities. Germany recorded the highest naturalization rates among British nationals, followed by Austria, Ireland, Sweden, Belgium, and Denmark. 
There were 163 were recorded in France, 343 in Spain, and 453 in Italy. British nationals acquiring citizenship in Norway were 1,578, and in Switzerland 855. Do you have plans to move to the EU? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.